A good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is yet another opportunity for us on this episode daily show actually to come and share something important and something that is transformative, inspirational, motivating. It's a virtual incubator here on the Live Signatures podcast where we talk about purpose, productivity and resilience every working day. By the grace of God, we have done 360 something plus episodes this year in 2023 and even as the year comes to a close it's my desire and my wish that it if it's 365 days it will be 365 episodes that's by god's grace do for me something if this podcast is making any sense to you, if this episode is going to make any sense to you, makes you to think, makes you to be motivated, makes you to be inspired, makes you to start reflecting about life, it can have the same effect on your friend or your loved ones. Just share with them so they can continue. We're talking about the four basic life principles that makes life equal to all of us. Of course, it seems like it's a dream saying that life is equal, but I'm going to come down to that in this episode we're going to start discussing those things so stay tuned welcome to the life signatures podcast with lawrence namale lawrence is a life coach author and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. a journey and uh, stand on any town street corner any city and make an observation of the earthlings they are in see how helter skelter we are moving from one place to another see how people are trying to take advantage of each other see how people are trying to mug others and trying to take advantage of them and trying to steal their hard earned labor Go into the corporate world and see the competition, the cutthroat competition for clients and for positions and for promotions and and all the bonuses of this world. See how people are living their lives. See what is desirable in the eyes of people. Ask people and stick a microphone in their face and ask them, what do you want? I tell you, for the most part, the answer you're going to get and the observations you're going to make are for a life that is seriously complicated. Extremely complicated. Stick a microphone in the face of a lady, young lady, 17, 18, 19, 20, and ask them, what kind of man do you want to marry? And you see the list of complicated things that this guy should have. As in, even their dad, their father, didn't have their uncles, all their uncles and their brothers, they don't have all those qualities. But that's what their dream is. We've complicated life so very much that we are one of the most stressed generations because we're living illusions. In that what we really need, even if it's next door, and I'm going out of myself, even if it's next door, even if it's around, we can't recognize it because we've complicated life. We've made it so complicated, so... I mean, it's, it's like... It's like what we have right now, we don't even recognize how blessed we are right now. We don't recognize how much a blessing it is to be alive in this day and in this age. We think that a life of fulfillment is a life that is filled with so much complex forms of pleasure, complex life 
echelons and starters and complex machines and complex gadgets and titles and and we i mean we've just amassed a lot of appendages on life that it's losing meaning and the moment we discover it's losing meaning it's like too late we are 90 that's when you realize what was that chase all about i've been chasing this for four decades what was that all about and all along ahead my son my daughters ahead my wife ahead my purpose those are the things simple things i was supposed to concentrate on but i wasn't anywhere near them trying to chase the complicated i don't know if i'm communicating the first thing that you need to realize that it's a simple thing in life and it's not complicated is this this applies to all of us no one is exempt that's the key in this series no one is exempt life qualifies all of us the first thing is this success is available to all now this is a very important sentence to make that's why i post success is available to all you know what the problem in the world is the problem in the world today is the definition of success the problem in the world is that we want to define success using someone else's parameters, someone else's standards. As in if I can just get to the life of Elon Musk, then I am successful. If I can just be like Bill Gates' son, Bill Gates' daughter, or Bill Gates' wife, then I'm successful. It can be if I can be Tiger Woods' wife, I'm successful. I mean, we have belittled success. We have, we don't even know what success means. We don't even know what it looks like. Let me tell you one thing to free you. Success is personal. It is also authentic. It is not comparable. Success is not about competition. What are you competing? I mean, you are born individually, alone. You're going to die alone. You live this life alone. Of what value is there you trying all your years to measure up to somebody else and end up depressed and distressed all your life? Success is available to all of us. And it's a simple thing of you defining what life means to you authentically from your heart stripped of all these gadgets and things of, that we are amassing and direct this success to impact can i make someone else smile you are more successful than someone who has billions of dollars and they can't smile themselves okay i know i'm oversimplifying things but first of all you and I have to know that there is not a single definition of success that can be copied and pasted. If you go to the dictionary and you look for success, okay, let me just do that. Dictionary online says success, one definition, it's a noun, it's the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. There is a thin line between success and failure. That's just using an example there in the, in the sentence. The second meaning of success which they're saying it's a cake the good or bad outcome of an undertaking hmm? that's what one of the dictionary uh, definitions of success is miriam webster in the same thing they say success they say it's a degree or measure of succeeding and that doesn't help b they say it's a favorable or desired outcome i like that one also attainment of wealth or favor now that's where we start drawing the line they are saying that success is attainment of wealth and favor they're not doing us any 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 uh, any what justice here because success is personal it is not universal it is not universal you have had uh, R. Covey saying that sometimes you can climb the ladder and then you find that the ladder was leaning on the wrong wall. That means that your success, that is not where your success is. 
The very first thing about success is to determine what is my ladder, where should my ladder lean. That talks about authenticity, it talks about your purpose, it talks about the impact, it talks about your passion, it talks about that. Therefore, success is about you defining your own personal desired outcome. Okay? And this desired outcome is about impact and contribution. You cannot tell me that I'm successful because I have 24 pairs of shoes. That is not success. Let's just be honest. You cannot tell me you're successful because you, you own a car. That's not success. You cannot tell me you're successful because you, you, you can fly from one city to another and you can eat breakfast in one city and lunch in another. That is not success. Success is a desired, impactful, contributory outcome as in you have lived and the world is better because you did maybe you put a smile on someone else's face you paid someone's school fees that is success okay success is not something that comes to you some success is something that you give to this world and therefore with that definition everyone is able to do anything that can make them successful that if you can contribute into the life of the other. I saw a clip yesterday, a very powerful clip on, on Facebook. There was this boy with tattered clothes who was able-bodied boy but tattered clothes and he was sitting on the streets and he was begging. And then there comes a girl carrying a basin in her hair, on her head, sorry. And this basin had fruits. And one hand of this girl is holding the basin. The other hand is holding her crutch. She is one-legged. And she comes to this boy and drops a coin or gives this boy some kind of contribution. And she walks away. And then the boy looks at this girl and he gets mesmerized. And it dawns to him that he is better off than she is. Let me tell you, that little girl who was successful, it might have been a skit. But that girl, that is what success is. A contribution into someone else's life. That is exactly what success is. Now, you see, the contribution I can give is different from what you can give. There are some things you are passionate about that I am not. But when you do that, you are being successful. The interesting thing about success is that it is like a mirage. Especially this success that you guys are looking for. It is like a mirage. In other words, when you're just about to get to it, you just thought that you had attained it. After a brief celebration, yeah, I've got my shoes. Yeah, I've got my uh, PS2. Yeah, I've got my car. Just that brief celebration, you realize that that is not what you are looking for. What you're standing on right now is not success. Your heart is reaching out for something else. Okay? That is the interesting thing about success of getting. But the success of giving, it is totally the opposite. You, ah, it gives you fulfillment. Contrary to popular belief, success is not a reserve for a few people. It is not a thing that is only synonymous with the whites. Europeans. Huh? It is not something that is synonymous with the Jews or the Americans or the kings and their kingdoms. Success, listen to this, is a human thing. Just like marriage is a human thing. Success is a human, thing, a human thing and therefore everyone born of a woman can access this success. But it is personal. Okay? That is the thing that I want you to go with at home. It is personal. If it is personal, it means that you have yours, I have mine, and we can attain them. We just need to know what it is. It might take longer. It might take decades or even transcend generations, but it is not a reserve of a few special people. There are no special people when it comes to success. If there were, they will be different from the rest of us. They will be breathing Maybe a different kind of air or having a different type of blood pigment, you know, or blood type Z or blood type S for success. But we are all the same. Perhaps our sameness 
in very many different ways is just an indication that we are all candidates for success okay and therefore success is available to all not just a few individuals this is a simple life principle that instead of looking outside look within stop comparing and complaining and competing and define what success means to you therefore go and attain it it is easy to attain it daily tomorrow look at another one until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.